Sometimes, when I stand on a rooftop at night and I watch the lights go out, one after the other, I ask myself, are we really going to sleep? Is this why we have nightmares? In the days leading up to July 10, 2017, some boys in Abule Ado area of Lagos State were disturbing Obiamaka. She was just 14. They would cat call her on her way to school and whistle at her on her way back. She ignored them like she had been taught to. She told her mother who thought to herself, boys will be boys, ignore them. On July 10, 2017, those boys climbed the fence into Biomaka's compound. She was home alone. They raped her and killed her. Obiamaka's killers have not been brought to justice. Everyone knows a story like this, so sometimes, when I stand on a rooftop at night, and I watch the lights go out one after the other, I ask myself, are we really going to sleep? Is this why we have nightmares? A Nigerian man on Twitter says, men want peace, but women want love. If women can give men peace, then men will give women love. Who told this man that women are born with peace so they do not need it to? And how many wars have women led us into? But I do not engage such men. Because when they say they want peace, what they want is a woman who does not speak. Even when a boot is placed on her neck, even when a knife is passed through her heart, even when she's raped in the dark alley on her way from school, they keep using women's bodies as soundproofing for the ignorant bubbles they live in. Well, I say fuck your peace and fuck your quiet, fuck your bubble and I hope it chokes you. Our daughters are being abused from the streets to the classrooms. The priests want their bodies for healing. The professors want their bodies for pass marks. How long would they be martyrs? How long will they put their bodies in the front line for your peace and quiet? And I say thank you to the women who refuse to give peace, who refuse to keep quiet, who ask difficult questions and make everyone uncomfortable because what is there to be comfortable about in a world where women cannot leave their drinks unattended at a party? So sometimes, when I stand on a rooftop at night and I watch the lights go out one after the other, I ask myself, are we really going to sleep? Is this why we have nightmares? Believe me, it is easy to ignore it all. Turn your eyes away from the flame. Say, in my house, we have enough water. But one day you will teach your daughter to avoid two men in a dark alley at night. You will teach her to avoid her own uncles. And even if you do not have daughters, remember the skin is not a wall. Obiamaka's screams will find their way in. So sometimes... When I stand on a rooftop at night and I watch the lights go out one after the other, I ask myself, are we really going to sleep? Is this why we have nightmares? Is this why we have nightmares? <laughs>